Whether you're playing on a high-end Ryzen 7 PC or on a low-end laptop with integrated graphics, optimizing your CPU for its best performance is always going to help you out and be the most beneficial towards higher and more stable FPS. This is why I'm about to show you the best process loss of settings for gaming in 2024. No matter if it's Fortnite, Valorant or Counter-Strike, these settings are all going to be the best ones which you want to apply on your PC. Quick side note guys, before applying any sort of tweaks, always make sure that you create a restore point on your Windows. Besides that, let's go. So guys, setting up process loss is actually quite easy. What you want to do in the first place, click on the main and make sure that you have enabled now manage process of all users. Then we're gonna go to active per profile and make sure that the bitsim highest performance one is actually enabled. Then once we're done with that, also make sure that pro balance is also enabled guys. You want to make sure that all three of these here are checked in the first place before we start with anything. Then we're gonna go over here into options, go under general and you can see manage processes of all users and then refresh interval GUI and this one you want to put to five seconds. The same as well with refresh interval governor. This one you also want to put to five seconds. Once we're done with that, you're gonna go over to CPU, go under pro balance and make Make sure that enable pro balance is checked and all of these settings here which are heavier as well just simply make sure that they're enabled for you as well then go under power again here under options and there you can see performance mode they're also going to make sure that change power profile when engaged is enabled then we're going to stay again under options and just simply go over to power where we can then see performance mode and there we have these three options which also should be enabled guys change power profile when engaged enable automatic detection and disable idle server while performance mode engaged now once we're done with these here we already have some of the best settings applied and now you have to launch whichever games you guys want to play. Let's just say as an example that I want to do this for Minecraft. So I'm going to launch Minecraft here in the background real quick. Now it's really important to understand that you can only apply these changes when the game is actually actively running in the background. So if you want to boost Fortnite, CS2, Valorant, Minecraft, whatever, you actually have to let it run in the background in a minimized window. So, and since I now have Minecraft running in the background, I'm going to go back into the tool and just simply press M to actually find the Minecraft exit. So this is now exactly the one which I want to use. So what I'm going to do now is guys, right click onto the game as mentioned, it can be whatever you guys want to do. It can be the Fortnite Exa, Valorant, Counter-Strike. Right click onto it, go under CPU Priority, go under Always and make sure to put this one to High. Then we can see that under Priority Class, we now change it over to High. Then you want to right click onto it again, go under INO Priority, go under Always and put it to High as well. Now we also change the additional rules. Now right click onto it again. Then we can see Power Profile and make sure that the Bitsum Highest Performance one is actually loaded for this application game specifically. And this is already now all of the best steps, but now additionally, if you are on AMD actually. For me as an example guys, I'm right now here on a Ryzen 7 5800X. What I can show you is right click onto it, go under CPU Affinity and there you can see always and disable SMT. If you now disable this, you can see that my CPU as an example has 8 actual cores and 16 in total with 8 additional virtual ones. You know, they're just calculations. 8 cores, 16 threads. I don't have actual 16 cores. Only the course number is the one which is actually available in the CPU. The rest is just calculations. And what you can do with actually disabling SMT is make sure that all of these virtual CPU cores are disabled so that you force your PC to only use the actual cores for your game, which would be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and 14. Eight cores which I actually have on my PC. Because most games actually just take the first four to six cores, something like that, and they might also take the virtual ones, which are theoretically a lot weaker since they're not actually there, they're just calculations. So this can actually boost your FPS a lot, guys, especially on AMD CPUs. You can try this out as well for your Intel one, it's gonna be called Hyper Threading, and if you don't want it, you can just simply go back to non, and you can see that it should be reset now to how it was before. This will immediately boost the FPS for every single game, guys. And now, guys, all you gotta do is make Make sure to go under power options and make sure that bits and highest performance one is enabled. This is the one which we now fully customized and with that you're already set and good to go. And every single time you launch that game it's going to preload all of these options and you have to do it for every single game specifically. If you found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and check out my two videos right now on screen where I show you how I optimized a $500 gaming PC and some other FPS boosts which are going to help you out.